Hi, for a small training purpose project, I wanna set up a virtual host. I was thinking maybe it's a cool idea to make out of a YouTube movie about this. We have here a browser, we have here a Linux machine, and we wanna simply add first the IETC hosts on Windows. This file we wanna edit is on Windows system 32 the drivers and an etc host this one you would edit in on, on windows in linux you would edit this file on here and you would add in this line where where the loopback device is defined your computer consists of two network interfaces always one is then is the loopback device and the other one is the external ip address of your of your nick of your network interface uh, connector and on the loopback device we will bind something and i will make something which names fabic fabic darkstar.local uh, so this is the dns name we will use for a small project okay. okay and we can check if this works as we simply try to pin this thing okay so this server is now responding okay and we are able to type this on here in but we need to proceed uh, http in front of fabric okay and then we would see on here something but currently not fabric and then the star dot local it will resolve but it will not see anything yeah okay this is uh, an other default virtual host of my linux machine we see here so it's defaulting to to this one here it's a small wiki for my brain we can have a look with apache uh, with apache control mm, yeah. and then option dump virtual hosts yeah you are getting in your Apache configuration all the find uh, um, websites on this local machine, which is hosted by um, Apache. Okay, by 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 Apache. I think <clears throat> you can also see on on here. Here's the Apache. Okay, this one and this program we are um, configuring. Okay, and it's listening to all interfaces. This means also onto the loopback device. This means all interfaces here i think i hope now it is like this i would say okay so the next thing is um that we need to to enter the configuration of this program uh http and then i think form and then extra okay so so we see on here some configuration files which is on boot of the server program http um, separately loaded in and then it's configured so, so we use this one here and we will add at the bottom on the bottom an additional virtual host these are 13 lines i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve twelve thirteen i think so so 13 the, the oops undo 13 yy and then paste paste this p and then we can correct this one here and so but, but we don't need the server admin stuff we need to define a document root and we will name this fabric this folder fabric and then a public directory of the framework we want to use and we will add also a, a name to here to the server fabric and we can we could define an error log we don't need custom log we don't need important are these two things on here uh, then we need to put on here in the di directory for the apache that um, that it allows uh, uh, well, actually we should using here no indexes no indexes actually um, but i don't know about I, why i have left it here in follow streamlinks multi views and allow override all this will enable us to use ht access files to configure it more in detail and the access um, is allowed from all and the order how it's uh, analyzed first everybody is allowed and then 
deny rules are active. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is um, simply to to create here our, our directory structure public and then public. Yeah, this option P will iteratively then make this folder so we don't need to make the fabric and then enter the directory fabric and then make a make the public so we can make in one line so okay and we will give this folder to the ownership of the user http because this one is the user which runs the web server and the group of http uh, uh, fabric okay so the, the the user i am logged in on here dennis okay yeah, this one, this one is this user on Linux, and and um, this user, and this user is member of the group HTTP. Okay, so so all settings onto files and folders, whatever, which is assigned to the group HTTP on here some. Uh, modifications can be done and and we will say um, we will say on here find everything on fabric of the type directory and everything what we find we will change to 77 okay 77 yeah i think actually yeah you know 77 and then um, i don't know five or whatever yeah, we have to make four and uh, five. It's okay, otherwise we can't enter it. Okay, this one here, and then the found files. Yeah, oh. I think this one is the way how to do it. Okay, and the same we will do with files, but but there we don't need the executable bit. This one is executable. This is the thing, the difference between six and seven. Okay, and we will put this on file. And then we have defined in fabric this one here okay okay so so but as as we will work with user dk2 we want to ensure that still this thing on here has the ownership the group ownership of, oh no here we are yeah now so we need to change this one to set group id we will need to do later change mode group plus this one here yeah, let's let's read my page so options yes here change mode clears the set group particular file so that match the effective group but the other one so group and additional restrictions make calls for directory preserves a set user ID instead of group ID unless you explicitly specify otherwise. For directors change mode preserve set group ID you explicitly specify otherwise. You can set or clear bits with symbolic like user. And you see they are telling about set group ID and user ID, okay, but not, not, not sticky. So this is our, our thing, okay. So clearly there is a numerical and additional blah, 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 blah. okay. But, but this is the thing what we are now doing, okay, okay, as known, okay. So change mod group plus set group ID, yeah, yeah, public, okay. So I now we see on here this one this s okay let's let's test this let's enter with this user dk2 uh, public public okay it's empty let's add on here oh, just touch it's okay it's enough touch index php and let's look you see no, we will ensure that um, our web server needs to write in a directory that or file that it will get the the rights okay but the owner is dk2 read write this is cool for us because we want to use an editor an editor to create and edit files okay and the web server should only <coughs> read but on some occasion our php program should also be able to write and this will ensure by manual okay 
Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. But, but maybe it is like this. Okay. So let's 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 do here a little bit PHP and just echo hello from Fabic. Okay. Don't ask it. What this means? Okay. And if you're going here, uh, Fabic Darkstar dot local, and then we see. Aha, we need to restart. We need to restart. Uh, restart our HTTP service. Okay. Mm. So, I yeah, would. Okay. So, okay. And now, zip, 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 boom, we are here. Far big as the load. We need to restart the Apache because then the virtual host config file is red. And we are in business. Okay, long video. Oh yes, it's Maria. Yeah, uh, we will come to this point on some places later again. Okay, bye.